Hey, how y'all doing out there? I got some old crazy news for y'all. Everybody excited that Free from 106 and Park popped out the blue and showed her face. But what people fail to realize is that Cassie got that $50 million. A lot of people popping up out the world works. Free letting her presence be known so y'all won't forget that she entitled to some money too. Now she know when she showed her face again, people was going to ask her about her alleged love child with Jay-Z. And the first thing she did was denounce it. But Jay-Z got to pay her to keep this hush hush. And that's the reason why she out here to collect. They saying that Jay-Z want her to disappear again. He made her disappear before. Now she popping her head out. And this boy full grown and he looked just like Jay-Z. So he don't know if they trying to pull a move. You got Jaguar right out there talking about the situation. And on top of that, Wendy Williams let the world know about this way back in the day. Free's real name, and we've heard this before, Maria Wright. Yeah, Maria Wright, yeah. But if, I, if she's in a hospital delivering a baby, chances are Maria Wright is not on the clipboard because... She probably used a fake name. I know when I was delivering my new scooter, do you want to know what my hospital name was? Okay. Oh, I zhuzhed it up. I had nine months on bed rest to zhuzh it up. Are you ready for this one? Uh -oh. Fabiola Carrington. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and a person like Fabiola delivers in full makeup and hair, like I did, and then does not receive any guests other than husband and, and, and mother and father, that was when my mother and father came in, until after my animal print pajamas are put on silky. I ordered them, I think, like from the Romans catalog or something like that. But, you know, I needed something to greet my, my guests. Fabiola Carrington. Right now. Thank you. But I just got this note from Nicole, who's my right arm back there in the office. Free gave birth Monday. 50 and Jay-Z was there. She gave birth in Brooklyn at Methodist Hospital. Who do we shout out to? Oh, hell. Beyonce. Oh. <laughs> what you gonna do now? The word is he tucked her away with a payment plan. As long as she don't show her face, as long as she don't speak about it, she barking up the wrong tree. I'm pretty sure whatever money Jay-Z gave her allegedly ain't compared to the money that Diddy gave Cassie, I doubt if he gave her $50 million to go away. She was doing all right on 106 and Park. Out of the blue, she stopped showing up. Fans wondering what's going on. How was she surviving? Why would she leave daytime TV to go nowhere? They ain't have a good explanation for firing her or nothing. The streets is talking that Jay-Z hid her away, hid the baby away from the public eye. The baby grown. He don't even know if Jay-Z his father for real. They saying that Free took the money, set the baby up for adoption, and this young man out here confused on some MK Ultra. And when they asked Beyonce about getting pregnant the first time, she was in her feelings because she know allegedly that Jay-Z had got another woman pregnant while they was together. <laughs> now, I just, you know, the question I actually really, really want to ask is, does, does Jay want to be a father? Does he want... Are you serious? I gotta ask. You gotta ask Jay. Yeah? Yes. Okay. So next time I see him, I ask him. You should. Well, I know you want to. I'm just, you know. Are you trying to play a little Cupid or something? Yeah, well, no. Y'all already married. Yeah, we so, are. We are. You know, that's first comes marriage, then come. Mm. <laughs> Isn't that a song? I don't know. Okay. Sasha, Sasha Fierce is done? She's not done, Sasha is she? Sasha Fierce is done. She's over? I don't know. I killed her. She has. She's really? Done. Yeah, yeah. So what, is there going to be a new persona, a new, is there somebody, a new character no. evolving? No, it's just, I think Sasha Fierce is a part of me. That's why the name of the album was I Am Sasha Fierce, because it's all the same. She lives within the alter say. ego. You know, everyone yeah. has one. She had to turn into Tasha Fierce to contain all that anger that she had towards Free. And Free recently came out talking about she don't care who don't like her, who got beef with her, it's whatever. Her name is Free. She gonna do what she wanna do regardless. She ain't gotta work. She ain't gotta do no shows. She ain't gotta do nothing. All she gotta do is sit back and collect a big fat Jay-Z check and she don't care about how nobody feel about it. Y'all ever feel like a change? in your body, your system, and your soul, and you can feel the change, like you, you literally feel it. And so you have to acknowledge it. I literally, for the first time, am okay 
This is crazy. This is crazy. Hold on to your seats. I'm okay with being disliked. I'm cool with it. I was not put here to be liked by everybody. My name is Free. Powerful word, no matter how you spin it. How many synonyms you use to discredit it. It's powerful. What's messed up when people ask her why she got fired from 106 and Park, she wanted to joke and make up her own rumors and laugh and giggle about the situation. She never get down to the nitty gritty and let the fans know. And that's why people believe Wendy Williams was telling the real deal like she did so many times. It's a lot of people that can't refute what she said, but now that free back out there in the streets, she can flip the script at any moment if Jay-Z not willing to cough up no big bucks. They dealing with Diddy right now, but they working on Jay-Z next. So she got to let her presence be known she had to clear her throat. <clears> throat> I'm still here. Remember me, free. If y'all want to do allegations and speculations, she all the allegations and speculations y'all need. She can crack the code unless he gonna crack open his wallet and break her off. Like I said, her and Roxy did an interview not that long ago, laughing and joking about why she got fired and never got to the point. She saying she got fired, then she say she didn't get fired. Now people believe in that Jay Z is the man that paid her to go away and stay away. But he's scared to death that she back. People, uh, people are going to believe that it's that you really left because of the water situation. So I'm going to tell you guys another reason I, why. Okay, you I, should, okay, but I don't think you should tell them that. Are you going to tell them? No, no, I'm going to tell them one more reason why you left, okay? So here, here's the thing, guys. Go ahead. See, there was that she really wanted to wear this real texturized ponytail one day, and because they didn't send Minuteman across over to Queens to go get Free's ponytail, Free said, "I'm not going on air." She left. She left. She wanted a very specific texture and brand of hair that day, and she said, "I'm not having it." And and we and I feel she like I feel like yeah, want hair. She wanted hair. I want hair. I don't ask yeah. for much. So I don't ask for much. It was the reason, so she didn't want, she wanted bottled water and she wanted uh, a certain, you know, it a was extensive. Ponytail that, it was a very special day for me. I yeah, just, you know, I wanted a ponytail. I didn't have no damn water. I was hot. We, BET couldn't afford, uh, you know, flying in freeze extension plus hair from LA and you. No, <laughs> no. And, and, and I had Indique that was giving me hair from Boston. They didn't even want to get the car. So I'm going to drive it from there. I was like, what the fuck, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> That was yeah. it. So know? that's that's two reasons. AJ has a bunch of reasons, and, and I have more. So all week, um, around yeah. 6 o'clock, we're just going to get on here. We're going to keep, you know, telling guys the real reason. Like, these were reasons. <laughs> Listen, y'all think I'm joking. I, I have my reasons yeah. written out. They're right here. If I turn it around, you see them. Three reasons for leaving. I'm going to share one more with them, OK? OK. So Free, you know, really likes her West Indy food, and she likes her Caribbean food. And she, and she was requesting that her Jamaican auntie be backstage cooking her platanos and her, you know, the rice. And they and was they like, wouldn't let, they said, no, free, you can't have a private chef, you know, cooking you peas and rice. Because she wasn't in the union. Why right. she got to be in the union? Why she got to be in the union? All she doing, we got to plug in electric, then take the electrical sockets out my goddamn room. If I can't use the electrical sockets for my aunt to cook what I need to cook, I'm out of here. Somebody, so that's just, what okay, one, that's somebody just said one thing that um that a lot of people think, and I want to clear that up. Somebody said, "Did you get fired because of the verses on the Whisper song?" Let's talk. That was actually very explicit, and it was a children's show free, and I didn't appreciate you telling how your whistle twerked on uh on that Yin Yang song. Then don't listen to it, Roxy. Don't listen to it. I had to balance it's it out. We was on the couch talking about ski, 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 mother, ski, ski, uh, uh, uh. So Free, you know, I, I had to I was a it. young child when I listened to you talking about skeeting, and that was that was very disturbing. <laughs> I've never been the same, actually. I actually have never been the same ever since. Ever since then, every no. time I hear so, little Johnny, so skeet. so the reason I tell y'all is because there's someone on YouTube. He had a um. I'm sorry, I can't remember your name, sir, but I actually hit him and said, "Could you please take that down? That's a lie." The Yin Yang twins themselves have been doing interviews and saying, "Free, free, uh, free! Oh, mama, stop talking to her because she did that record." Free, I'm like, what? And then they told people <laughs> that that I got fired because of yeah.
with the record. And I'm like, my mother, my mother used to be like, baby, have you had sex on the beach yet? I need you to stop being approved. I need you. So y'all talking some crazy ish to I say. I had sex on the beach yet? Roxy, so <laughs> another conversation, another day. Because if you haven't, we have to arrange. When I come see you next week, we'll talk about that. Oh, so, yeah, you're coming. So we'll be live. Wait, next wait, week. wait. I just want y'all to know, no, I did not get get fired because of the Whisper record. No, it wasn't because of the Whisper record. It wasn't. It, it and wasn't. I wasn't fired at all. All that right, guys. Is the, so that's the story. Reason. I'm, I'm going to just tell say that. Reason. That's the story that went, that went forever. There's, there's yeah. actually, there was a sex tape on Free that was about to start circulating, and we had to get ahead of the story. You had to get ahead of the story because if they're going to yeah. release the sex tape, you got to be ahead of it so it looks like they're in yeah. control of it before they release it. Yeah, and luckily... As we, long as I figured, like, like, I got to look good in it, so I was trying to... No, you did. Copy. I saw the sex tape. I saw oh. the sex tape. You, it looked good, Free. It looked good. You know? Oh, I, didn't even I know who showed it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Why you didn't call it me? It actually you wasn't were, really a after sex that, tape. You weren't thinking about me? It was a foot tape. It was like a, a foot <laughs> tape because like everybody was always in love with Freaky's feet and the heels. And it was this very seductive her taking her shoes off video. You need and to get one six thought it was too explicit, you know. So we had to let Free go. We they had to had to let me go. Jay Z glad that he ain't marry her because now that she older, she looked very mean and aggressive. With the makeup on, she's straight. But with the makeup off, she look mean. And Jay-Z can't handle all that because according to people in the streets, he's a nice guy. Especially nowadays, he on the golf courses. He got land, private jets, private boats, private chefs, private everything. And he trying to keep free private. But she out there in public when she knows she need to be tucked away in the corner somewhere because that's what he paid her to do. Not a little boy grown up. Got Jay-Z lips and everything. It looked like he smoked a lot of weed, so I know he don't figure it out, but Jay-Z don't care about none of that. He paid people to be quiet, but this young man want to get paid extra to be real quiet. I don't know, I know how he feeling. Like, I would I will hope, I would hope he would think about it and this would be in his mind, but you know, I wouldn't actually know what, what another person is feeling at this time. You, you just can think that this person knows and thinking about it and stuff like that. I, don't, I really want to know how to answer. My mom did tell me she went in there and fought a fraternity test. And it just, basically I can say it was a whole lot of running around with that case. It was a whole lot of things that was, that wasn't, what can I say? Um, well, wasn't, we, we didn't have enough information to push the case. That's, that's what I basically can say. We didn't have enough information to keep the case going, so. It was a big case to me because, you know, I really wanted to find out who my father was and for for the case not to go how I was planning it. I really thought it was going to go different than what it was. But, well, I really feel like it should have been over with because, you know, I feel like if it was anybody else, you know, like, oh, I'm not saying this because people got higher standards or, or people make more money than that. But it's this different because, you know, if it was anybody else that made a low income, I feel like they would have had them in there way faster than people that's wealthy. I really try not to get frustrated, you know, basically. I, I really try not to think about it, you know, I go on with my life because, you know, anything could happen, but, you know, I still got to live for myself at the end of the day. You know, I still got to work and bring an income for me. You know, I can't sit around, you know, I got to get up off my feet and do something. You know, I can't wait on, I can't wait on the world. Like, I can't say, you know, I can't wait on anybody to want to respond when they want to. It, it is important that I know who my bi biological father is just because, you know, my mom health. I don't know if it's coming from our family or it's coming from the other side. And that, that would be something I really would want to find out because, you know, in the future, you don't know what could happen. And a lot of people are so quick to judge because they see somebody coming out and try to find out if the, if the person, that, you know, trying to find out things, they, they so negative to push you down. Like, you know, people are just so quick to judge a person that's a low, I want to say low income, but somebody that doesn't have it and somebody that does, they, they always think, you know, you coming after that person's money or they never look at the full story and things like that. It was, it was rough, you know, living in Philadelphia, you know, it was a, it was a hard city. Like, you know, it started to get, it started to get 
wilder as the years went on, like, you know. Have you have you ever been in a situation where you were almost killed? I, I have been, I wouldn't say the crossfire was for me, but I have, it was people, like, it was, it was a couple shootings that I have been around, but it wasn't for me, like, it, was, it wasn't intended for me or nothing like that. It's just, you know, it's dangerous down there, period, so. That boy said he been in shootouts. Ain't no telling who Jay-Z got out there to eliminate his problems. People ain't had an eye on Free, his alleged son, his friends that he grew up with, people that he knew. Beanie Siegel back in the news with a food truck and people shaking their heads because they know that his baby mama responsible for that food truck even though he taking all the credit but either way jay-z always gonna get criticized and blamed for other people problems that he dealt with but y'all gotta admit he did come out like a boss and admitted that he cheated on beyonce he said he wasn't wrong he let the world know he got infidelity issues and that's good for him because now if free want to flip the script on some Jaguar right nonsense with her son and really go at this man. The public is waiting for it. People looking forward to seeing this man get exposed. He like John Gotti, the Teflon Don. Ain't nothing been able to penetrate him yet, even though he allegedly shanked somebody back in the day. And the person he shanked got paid off and he ain't complaining about it. The same way Free got paid off. And she ain't complaining yet. But people, they waiting to see her make a comeback, man. Young thug in jail, writing her letters, reminiscing on back in the day before he got in the game and letting her know whatever she want to do when he get home, he going to put a bag behind her, man. A bag of ramen noodles. They said he went broke in jail, but that's Negro here nor there. Hopefully they let him out because the music industry been dead ever since Young Thug been locked away. It ain't like Jay-Z about to get out there with a dress on and some purple dreads and entertain the masses. I respect the fact that Jay-Z came clean about all his cheating. He said it was love that kept them together. Even though he was wrong, he slipped, he fell, but somehow they was able to get back up. He really, really loved Beyonce and Free just ain't gonna cut it. She cute and everything, got a nice body, but she too ghetto for Jay-Z. Beyonce ghetto too. In her own little way, man, she said she keep hot sauce in her bag. That's ghetto enough. But Free, on the other hand, she keep hot sauce in her bag, some sad song, a bag of plantains. They said her mama Jamaican. She keeps some curry in her bag. She a little too much for Jay-Z. But that booty, he couldn't resist it. He snapped that thing. Next thing you know, she wound up pregnant. And he tried to deny that he was the father. Him and 50 Cent was up there in the delivery room to make sure that the baby was either his or 50 Cent's. Now, since the baby ain't come out looking like Samuel L. Jackson, that's how they know it wasn't 50 Cent's baby. And they asked Diddy about the situation, and Diddy ain't never throw Jay-Z under the bus. He answered the questions, calm, cool, collective, and respectable, and that's why I don't understand why Jay-Z won't go see that man in jail. Diddy all right? He looked out for his friends, especially Jay-Z, when they asked him about Jay-Z cheating on Beyonce. As a close friend of Jay-Z, what was your reaction to him opening up about his infidelities in uh, the Family Feud uh, video? Yeah. I mean, that's what music gives you the power to do. And I think that, you know, once you're ready to share it with your fans in the world, then nobody could judge it. You know, they have to accept what it is. And I think, uh, I, th I thought it was dope. Uh, were you surprised? No. I that he put it out there? No, I wasn't. No. I was surprised about Lemonade, but I wasn't surprised about You were. <laughs> Why were you surprised about Lemonade? I mean, I just didn't see it coming. It was just like, <laughs> I mean, it was a Sunday and it was just like, whoa. Right. <laughs> you, you, didn't see, you didn't see the album coming or you didn't see what was in it coming? I didn't, I didn't see anything. I think like the rest of the world, and I think it was genius. I think Beyonce did a great job and she tackled something that, that a lot of women have had to go through, and also Jay on the other side, he did what he had to do. And most importantly, their family stayed tight and together, and they were able to weather the storm. And that's a shining example of a couple that stays together through the good and the bad. That man kept it solid. He ain't slander his friend. He ain't leave Jay-Z hanging the way Jay-Z leaving him hanging. He got straight to the point and let the world know that Jay-Z a good brother and he got his support 100%. That's why you got people like Bow Wow out there talking about they miss Diddy. He miss going to them parties. 
they ain't got nowhere to go. Black Hollywood scared to come together and congregate because they might get locked up for partying while black. It used to be walking while black or driving while black. These people scared to party while black. It's illegal because you never know if a freak off going to pop off. You get a bunch of brothers and sisters together that got money. Next thing you know, they turn into some heathens and everybody in the jacuzzi with their clothes off making babies like Jay-Z did with Free back in the day, allegedly. And Beyonce trying to figure out what she going to do because according to their ex-bodyguard, she's on drugs and Jay-Z knows it, allegedly. They say all different types of things about these couples. She the female Michael Jackson when it comes to entertainment. And Free, on the other hand, she was a video jockey. I don't know if that can pay her. Jay-Z don't want her to be his baby mama, but he kept her around just in case he want to come back around and let her do that little thing that he liked. He basically paid for her like a sex doll or a puppet. And Bow Wow can't stand it because that boy want to party. The, the, the YouTubes and mom don't even know what they doing and they hit it big. Next thing you know, they, they gone. Mama don't know nothing about the business. Once the business get them, it's, it's, it's a wrap. You know what I mean? Once they get around their favorite artists for the first time, they get a popping little record, they start getting introduced to, you know what I'm saying? Then it, then it just go, now you lost them in the sauce. There's no guidance. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's just no guidance. And I think that's the thing. These cats don't have no guidance. It's no more big homies. It's no more this. It's like, it's just. But when your big homies are also not the right impression or doing bad too, do you get nervous when you see all the takedowns that are happening right now in the you know, industry? Me? No. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. I'm How really nervous. You? How do you feel about it? I think it's I think it's a, a very, very messed up situation. You know what I'm saying? I think it's like it's it's it is crazy. Like for me, I know I haven't seen anything to like hit the news that as far as like our industry that made me feel some type of way like for three days straight. Like I can't like nah, I wouldn't like I would have never thought it would if it is the end, it would be. This would be the story of how it would end. It ain't supposed to end like this. Mm -hmm. Like for me thinking on it, bro, supposed to be on a two hundred and fifty foot yacht with his wife, leg up, chilling. This how you ride it out. You know what I mean? And I think a lot of us probably never thought that we would see this. But for me, it's like it's just it's just unreal. Like it's, it seems unreal. At times, I know me and Jermaine, we spoke about it, and I'm just like, I just can't, I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I would never have thought that it would, we would see him in this position, ever. Even with all the rumors that I've always circulated. Never. Just never thought I'd see it like this. Like, nah, nah. He's like the gatekeeper to the game, to the point to where, what what weekend just passed? Like BT Award weekend, and then didn't, like the past two, they just didn't feel right, because there was no motion, there was no parties. There was nowhere to go. Like, let's be very specific between like, parties and freak offs. No, the industry, like the parties that we attend, like there's me, the you, the, the, the terraces. Record, the, the I left the, before before <laughs> one. I never stayed. I've only like, been to two parties and like, I've never seen a freak off. Yeah, like, but it shows. And and once again, I'm separating it. Right, I'm talking about him as the the, the artist, mm -hmm. the the person. Yeah. Right. How and how monumental and how important he was to the culture because I, I, I said, Jermaine, I just, there's no parties. Every year, dude had the, he had the, fest, and you feel it. It's like a whole. It's like, damn, we, we ain't going, he was just such a gatekeeper for him. The, the, the liquor in the, the clubs, the, the, the mo, like he was everything hip hop. Yeah. You know what I mean? So for that to, to die out, it's like, you just would have never thought. And especially when you look at somebody as like somebody you study, somebody you idolize, somebody who you looked at like, yo, when it comes to hustle, when it comes to business and, and how to run your shit, it's like he was the guy that every young hustler looked up to and wanted to either be like or wanted to, man, I'm going to pass this nigga. Like, I always want to, I want, I want to pass this nigga. Like, he just make me. He just step your hustle game up, you know what I mean? So it's 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 sad and it's messed up that you know we gotta witness this in this in this time, but it's fucked and up. And his kids, I mean, we gotta sympathize with them. Man, people want the freak off to continue. Bow Wow confused about it. Jay Z nervous. This woman back outside and she ain't as cute as she used to be. People saying she's still beautiful, she's still gorgeous, but y'all seen them clips 
when she was outside growling at the camera, it wasn't too appealing, man. She'd been sitting around, rolling around, getting them Jay-Z checks. She had to go outside and get some exercise on y'all. Look at her. She out there doing push-up squats. He got her in that same condo he paid for back in the day. The neighborhood changing, but her apartment the same. She ain't even got enough space in there to have her own personal gym. She thought it was a good deal when it was happening. Listen at this. <laughs> cotton picking nuts. Pre gave birth Monday, 50. She said she was cotton picking nuts and stuff, man. She out there doing bad. He got her back in slavery. Somebody pray for her. That money, she ready to get out them apartments. It was cool back in the day. But now, she trying to get herself a house. Cassie got mansion money. He gave her enough money to live, eat for free, and change diapers. That boy grown. Now she trying to figure it out. She trying to get back on TV. He don't want to see that face at night. Y'all need to let me know what y'all think about it, man. Everybody do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification button too. I got so much love for y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all in my next video. But one more thing before I go. Subscribe to my channel if that's what you want. Subscribe to my channel if that's what you want. But if that's not what you like, then you must be a punk. Hold on now. Here we go.